What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so as you can see right here, guys, Relic finally evolved at level 34. Found a Shadow Ball and all that crud, but finally we got Relic, the Espeon and all that stuff. So, yeah, in our last few episodes, we took, uh, you know, a few side quests because we needed to get shit done, you know, before we get to the real thing, and that is we have to go back to Goldenrod, and we have to take on Team Rocket, because apparently, yeah, they, 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 they took over the radio tower. Now, it is a little bit different right here in Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver. You're going to be seeing Team Rocket all over the place, and... Well, it's not that easy to just go up to the tower and just, you know, steal stuff and everything or beat everybody. Now, once you make it up to this guy right here, he's going to be like, uh, we have business going on. He won't let anybody from Team, or except for people from Team Rocket to go in. So we have to look like the guys from Team Rocket. Now, where in the play, where in the whole world are we going to get something that makes us look like Team Rocket? Well... I don't know if I've didn't I don't know if I've done this before or anything like that, but we have to go to the underground path, or I don't even know what it's called right here, the little basement place underground path, and go to the photography area right here, just because uh, there is somebody right here that's going to be taking pictures, and he does have Team Rocket a uh, uniform, and of course he thinks we are a recruit, so we're gonna quote unquote borrow one, and bam, look at that, we look like Team Rocket now. Pretty much the first time we can actually uh, quote unquote customize customize our player or or yeah our player for any occasion. We're dressed up differently here, so let us get the heck out of here. And <laughs> after you're dressed up as Team Rocket, people are gonna be looking at you it's like you look a little too young to be for Team Rocket. Well, I'll tell you this right now: if I was part of Team Rocket, yeah, we'd take over the world. Okay, so let's go right ahead and talk to this lady. <laughs> she thinks we instructed her to, to tell visitors to go away. And as soon as he looks at us uh, with the uniform, we're about to cross and... Uh, yeah, this guy right here is battling all the Team Rocket members. And he's looking at me and he's like, Draven, what are you doing here? Foolish, you should be wearing those things and BAM! <laughs> Our secret is out. We are not from Team Rocket, we're just a guy from... Uh, you know, new bark town and all that stuff. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, so that, of course, starts up a battle between us and the Team Rocket member right here. So let's go right ahead and kick some butt. Take the names Cinder versus Eradicate right here. Look at that. Lava Plume. Lava Plume destroys Eradicate. Now, one of the reasons why I actually went to do, uh, you know, these side quests is because I kind of wanted to get a little stronger before, you know, the main battles. You know, the Team Rocket uh, leaders, quote unquote executives, and all that stuff. And, uh, well, we, <laughs> for the last few episodes, have been going under level. Uh, we almost got our butts kicked by the 6th or 7th gym leader. It depends on what, what, which side of the ball you go to. But, yeah, we almost got our butts kicked with that. Definitely don't want to feel like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, don't want to get my butt kicked or anything. So, there it is, guys. We defeated a Team Rocket member. I'm feeling good. Let's move on right here. He's like, you're too par powerful. You could spoil our plans. And of course, Silver here is just, you know, he's just letting me know that he's still pissed off about the Dragon Tamer, Lance. He's going to defeat every Team Rocket member. He's got like some huge beef against Team Rocket. Do not know why. Need to know the history of that. Which, will, uh, we, we, which we, will, we will eventually get to and all that stuff. So, in this episode right here, guys, we are... Yeah, we're just going to be battling. Straight up battling, guys, with five Radicates, five Zubats, and all that stuff. It's okay. It's fine. We can deal with it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna have to kick some butt right here. Look at that sucker punch. Doesn't make us flinch. But here we go with the lava plume. Cinder kicking some butt. As you can see, Cinder is about to evolve right here. So I kept it right there at level 35 just for this occasion. And well, here he comes out with another Radicate or Radita right here. Now, let's see, what else do I have to do right here? Well, let's go with the Lava Plume. Lava Plume does it. Say goodbye to Radita. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We're getting closer and closer to evolution. We're just going to keep it with Cinder right here. Let's go get Radita right here. All right. Let's try something new. Let's go with, uh, you know, a swift attack. So we can swiftly defeat these guys. And look at that. Swift attack for the win. Say goodbye to Radita. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And look at that. Cinder grows to level 36. 
we know what's time well we know what time it is so we're gonna be switching out right here and well let's go right ahead and use uh yeah let's go with nessie right here now i did do a little bit of training with nessie as well because well nessie's a very very powerful pokemon but it was under level just because well it was just under leveled so here we go ice beam attack say goodbye to Radita. look at that look at that Radita had no chance uh-uh mm -mm. There we go, Nessie takes over, and well, here he comes out with another Radita. You know, for a game in Generation 4, he could add a little bit more spice to his team, you know, more than just Radita. I mean, there's like, I don't know, 200 more Pokemon, depending, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just complaining and all that stuff. We all had that complaint about Team Rocket, yeah, it's not really gonna go anywhere. The newest Pokemon we see are towards the executives. They just show us some new Pokemon like Murkrow, Hondoom, Houndour, and look at that! Cinder is evolving right here to, well, uh, let's see, Typhlosion, yeah. Look at that. It took us quite a while, guys. Should have done it earlier, but guess what? Cinder finally evolves into Typhlosion right here. That's become a little bit more powerful. I don't think, wait, does he learn a new move? Let's see. Alright, pressing that button, and no, it doesn't learn no moves right there. And uh, he's looking a little bit bigger right here, so let's go ahead and take a look at its summary. As you can see, Typhlosion at level 36, got him at June 10th, good god. And uh, it's, a, it's a very, very good special attacker. Holy crap, we started this game in June 10th. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Many of you guys were wondering, okay, so Draven, uh... Why'd you take like three or four months off of uh, Pokemon on Gold? Yeah, it's very simple, guys. I was focused on other stuff. Things were getting a little tougher. And look at that! Typhlosion, he is mad. And, well, we're going to be uh, battling some more Team Rocket members right here. He's like, come on in, let's go. Alrighty. Let's do this. We're taking on another Team Rocket grunt. A female. And, yeah, she's coming out with her Arbok right here. So now this is a first test. For Cinder, joke's on you, Arbok. My Pokemon's a special attacker, so... Oh, crap. And a <laughs> oh, God. I'm a special attacker, but this guy uses a physical attack. Good gravy. All right. See, guys, sometimes Draven doesn't think while he's battling. He just wants to get the whole show done right here. But anywho, many of you guys ask me, Hey, uh, so how come... I don't know. You... Uh... You took a little, uh, a little, a little bit of time off from Pokemon Heart Gold. Well, it's very simple, guys. Very, 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 very simple. I was very, very focused on the other games that you know was coming out with the walkthroughs and all that stuff. Plus, we initially thought we were going to be doing Pokemon Heart or Pokemon Moon and or Sun and Moon and all that crud. Didn't work out. And then I just realized that I had like an extra two episodes that I've done and I didn't use and all that crud. And then uh, after that, uh, yeah, I just got lazy with that. So now. We're back, we're right back where we were supposed to be right here, guys. Kicking some butt, taking names and all that stuff. Now, initially, I was going to restart this whole walkthrough. Do it over again with new with new team members because some of these Pokemon right here are from Pokemon Crystal. But, you know what? I was like, you know what? I don't want to restart the game. I don't want to do that again because that, that just, that's just, uh, yeah. It's a little bit of work. I might as well continue, but give my subscribers what they want. And that is a uh, better background, you know, better sidebars or whatever you like to call it. Yes, guys, I improved the background and I'm getting a lot of good compliments off of that, too. So thumbs up for that, please. Come on. So here he comes out with a Grimer and, well, let's go with a nice be Oh, no, you know what? We're going to go with a, a Surf. Now, the other thing, too, that really bothered me about playing Pokemon Heart Gold wasn't necessarily just Heart Gold, but just 3D or just DS games in general. Uh, when I first got my desktop, seriously thought that, oh wow, we are finally going to have like enough to speed uh, DS game and all that crud, and nothing can go wrong, and everything went wrong, because we put a little bit more memory into this computer, and then next thing you know it, yeah, oh yeah, we, uh, <laughs> yeah, it slowed the games down, now I, I, I'm pretty sure many of you guys realized that in Pokemon Black, and uh, the first 20, what, 6 episodes of Pokemon Heart Gold? That's why right now I am doing uh, post-com for Pokemon Heart Gold, which, believe it or not, I thought I was going to lose a step, but no, nope, nope, did not lose a step at all. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually very, very comfortable with this. And, of course, 
I'm getting dis disabled right here. Not really looking at the game. So let's go with the fly attack. Goddamn muck. It's very, very defensive and all that stuff. And look, it's coming out with his sludge, but it won't affect Toxic Batman. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Fly attack. Does its trick. Say goodbye to muck. Now, let's see. Yes, this uh, this whole Team Rocket thing is going to last three episodes. Spread them out because, uh, yeah, it, it took a while. I mean, being in this first, uh, or the second floor right here in the radio tower lasted about, what, like, ten minutes? No, nah, no, nah, I lie. It's going to last ten minutes because look how many trainers are there and look how many Pokemon are there. Now, one of the best things about, you know, having a... Uh, doing postcom is that you know I'm playing the game but I'm also reading up on the on the guidebook that way I can actually get everything around the area normally when I did postcom didn't necessarily do all that stuff I just went and did my thing and didn't necessarily care for all the items but now with postcom I'm actually doing a little bit better with just like you know hey guys look this look at this there's a pokeball right there pretty sure you guys are liking that so look at this relic grows to level 35 Hercules as well, and well, he's coming out with the Zubat. You know, I could be using a Psychic type attack, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's go with Fluff Bolt right here. Now, it's kind of funny. I'm looking at Fluff Bolt right here, and I was like, man, I. <laughs> Pokemon X's Fluff Bolt actually, you know, surpassed this Fluff Bolt right here. It's kind of funny. Kind of should have went with the storyline and all that stuff, but eh, well, you know. It's cool, it's cool. Now here we go, getting more points, and Hercules, of course, getting 150 points. Say goodbye to another Team Rocket Grunt. Good gravy. It's a lot of Team Rocket Grunts, so let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's see. We're going to be healing up our Pokemon right here because, uh, trust me guys, there is a buttload of Pokemon trainers up here. Now this episode right here is to get to the top of the radio tower, and, oh, gravy. You know, it, it just, it, it's a lie. And look at that! Relic's finally growing, uh, or learning Psybeam. Okay! Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, see what move it could take away. And, uh, crap baskets. There we go. And I forgot Sand Attack. And look at that, Psybeam. Finally! Another move worthwhile right there. That's good. Alrighty, so, let's see. Uh, alrighty. So, I think we're gonna go into the top right here. So, we're gonna be switching out our Pokemon. Let's go with somebody that we haven't seen in quite some time. And that's Hercules right there. Homeboy Hercules. Ready to kick some butt. And, uh, well, we got a few Team Rocket members right here. Now, this is the floor. I think it's third, uh, floor number three where you can actually, or well, where you actually need a secret card key to actually get to the, to, to, to the final stage of this whole thing right here. Now, here we go. Hercules ready to kick some butt. And I am looking at Coffin right here. And it's like, okay, what's up, Coffin? Let's do this. Coughing gets this takedown, and, uh, well, takedown is, uh, super effective right here. Well, not super effective, but it's just, it's working, and, well, here comes an aerial ace for the win. Say goodbye to Coughing. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, okay, 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 and then, uh, well, here comes a Zubat right here, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to Flavolt and make it a quick one right here. Now, make sure to bring a lot of healing items, guys. A lot of Team Rocket members uh, like to use poison type Pokemon. Hell, they even like to use that occasional glare attack from an Arbok, so just be aware from that one right there. And, uh, well, look at this Zubat. Defeated. Oh, yes. Hercules looking good. Fluffbolt's looking better. And hey, they're going to be coming out with a Grimer right here. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Relic. All right, Relic. Time to use the Psybeam attack. Now, I remember in Pokemon Crystal. I may or may have not evolved a relic a level or two, maybe three, or oh, like after it, it was supposed to learn a psychic attack. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bad on me, guys. My bad. Uh, but then again, its happiness wasn't up there, so I kind of I probably should have just waited a few extra days just to make it happier, you know, that kind of stuff, but it didn't necessarily happen. So that's a bad on me. That's, that's my bad. And, well, here comes another Radita. Let's go right ahead and use a Brick Break. That's right, Karate Chop that rat. And there you go. Radita defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, there goes another Team Rocket member. I'm happy about that because, uh, well, don't necessarily need to mess with that guy right there. And, well, let's see. Of course, 
you're not only going to be messing with Team Rocket members, but you're going to be messing with scientists as well. Do not know why they need a scientist here. But oh well. Now, just remember that scientists like to use electric and steel type Pokemon right here, so make sure to bring that fighting type, right? Yeah. Alrighty, so there goes a brick break, and uh, that takes care of Magnemite. You know, with, with this game, it's kind of hard to see if they actually hit the one or actually get fainted. I don't know, guys. I'm just looking at this and I'm like, I don't know, they're trying, they're trying to screw with me a little bit. So here we go. Brick break attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Magnemite defeated already. Yeah, the foe's been defeated in a Mercules or Hercules. Gets another win right here. And of course, he's coming out with another Magnemite. So what was like, I'm not going to be all worried about that. Anywho, Lexley, what else do we have to talk about aside from a whooping on these guys' candy asses? I don't know. So yeah, we're close. I actually looked at uh, the recordings that I have uh, here for Pokemon Heart Gold. And we are very close to the Pokemon League. Mm-hmm. Didn't expect that. And we might finish that. We might finish, uh, we might finish for, uh, the first part of this uh, of this walkthrough by the end of February. So that's, that's good timing right there. Very, very good timing. And, well, here we have another Team Rocket member wanting to challenge us because, well, I guess that's it. And he has one Pokemon, and that is a Weezing. Holy crud. Okay, so this is going to be a battle. You gotta realize this, guys. They like to use Weezings to poison you, and more than half the time you will get poisoned. So just make sure to bring an antidote or a full heal, or uh, I think a peck of berry, pet your berry. I don't even know. Jeez, just pick one berry. Alrighty, and uh, well, as you can see, bam, defeated you. Okay. So let us move on right here. And okay, I was about to say <laughs> I didn't beat that guy. And we are getting very, very close to the director right here, so we're going to be taking on another Team Rocket member. Okay, bring it on, Grunt. Coming with the Zubat, I'm coming with the Nessie. Nessie about to smack you upside the head, or just being yourself, you know, just uh, being a, 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 an a-hole right here. Alrighty, and look at that Ice Beam attack. Does it. You know, I just realized something. I'm looking at my team right here. Yeah, we are fully evolved. This is uh, something right here. And, uh, well, I guess this is why we're going through these guys a little bit quicker. Nah, I'm just playing, guys. We, we are fully evolved and all that crud. This is a good accomplishment. Um, I've been reading on the comments uh, on the last few episodes, and some of you guys are suggesting, hey, there is a specific Pokemon over at the Pokemon, uh, at the, whatchamacallit, uh, the, the Safari Zone. Maybe you should go grab it because it could prove useful. I am tempted. I am very, very tempted to getting that Pokemon, but it, 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 it's at a cost. A huge cost to training it up and all that crud. Well, we're we're going to have to wait and see, guys. Again, uh, playing this game, I've been winging it. Because I've been going back and forth. I said that Lucky was going to get his redemption. Didn't necessarily prove that. Yeah, I'm just like going back and forth on games and all that stuff. But don't worry, guys. The surprises are always good. We, we, we'll probably get to uh, we'll probably get to use multiple Pokemon in this in this thing right here too. And that's why I've been uh, stocking up on the Pokemon that I've used in the last three generations right here. And of course, our mom's gonna be calling us. Good gravy. And well, Proton, the leader of the radio mission, he is so cool. And of course, she's like admiring Proton, one of the executives, of course. And well, here we go. Taking on another team grunt or team rocket grunt. And well, Nessie. Of course, getting uh that intimidate and all that stuff. Because it will, you know, Atkins has nothing else better to do. At least we know that if we were to paralyze that Atkins, it won't have shed skin. Yes, I don't know, but look at that. Surf attack for the win. And well, Nessie getting some experience points. It's always fun. And then in Mercules getting it. And here she's coming out with an Oddish. So let's go straight to Cinder. Alrighty. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, this is a uh, this is a remake walkthrough. And on, I just realized that on remake walkthroughs, I usually use some Pokemon outside the regular teams. And sometimes I use some of the, the similar teams. Let's see. Let's go back to let's go back to let's see. Leaf Green. I did use a Pikachu. It wasn't the main Pokemon. It wasn't even my starter. 
I called her Leah. And then, uh, let's see, Charizard, of course, Godzilla. And then I got Thrasher, which of course was, uh, yeah, I pretty much used the, the same team in Leaf Green, except for, like, maybe one or two, maybe one. And then, let's see, Pokemon Omega Ruby, it was, uh, <laughs> that game was a little bit different because, uh, yeah. In Omega Ruby, we're just, like, right there. A step away from the Nintendo Switch, and we could do whatever the heck we want, like, internet and all that stuff. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff, guys. And, well, let's see. Relic, we're going to be switching you out. Let's go with a Cinder. Now, in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, if I remember correctly, what Pokemon did we use? I'm going to be looking uh, at my playlist right here, putting the volume down while I'm kicking Boom's butt. And, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And I used quite a few Pokemon. I did. Mew de Uno comes to mind because I actually got the Pokeball uh, for the Nintendo Switch. And, by the way, that's a one-time thing, so, yeah. And that, well, look at that! There's a scientist right there waiting for us. Good gravy. Like, see, I did use Ultra Psycho, I think. Did I use Ultra? No, I did not use Ultra Psycho on the team. Like, yeah, okay, okay. So, yeah, I did not use Ultra Psycho for both Leaf Green or Pokemon, uh, whatchamacallit, uh... Pokemon Leaf Green, or in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I actually featured them because I actually went through this game one time. Alright, let's see what Pokemon I have. And this Porygon right here is using Conversion. And it's turning into an Electric type Pokemon, but guess what? It's too weak. It's not going to be going up... Uh, well, it's not going to fare well into, uh, against Porygon right here. And look at that. Porygon has been defeated. 417 points. That's right. I'm feeling good about this. Look at that. Grand Plax came with snags! Don't they all? I think so. Okay, so we're moving up ahead, and we are in the director's office right here. And, well, we're going to be saving the game just in case, because, uh, well, playing this uh, emulator right here kind of screws up Heart Gold and Soul Silver's vision and stuff. I have to edit that out, but... Okay, so we are saving the game, and the director is waiting for us. Now, we're going to be switching up Pokemon right here, because, uh, yeah, don't... I don't necessarily uh, think that that's the director. Why would they have him right here? And we talk to him. He's a director. Praise uh, Team Rocket. And of course, he's looking at us. And he's like, I'm impersonating. Who are you? Oh no, it's you again, Draven! And of course, it happens to be Betrell, one of the directors from Team Rocket. So here we go, guys. Another battle against Petrel, the Team Rocket Direct or Executive, and yes, he's going to be coming out with a nice amount of Pokemon that would like to poison you. Now, let's see, going back to, let's go Pikachu, you got Leonardo, the Blastoise, you got, uh, let's see, holy crap, he used quite a few Pokemon. Yeah, I used quite a few Pokemon for this whole thing, and oh yeah, Sand Slash, look at that, an Alolan sla Sand Slash I I've used. Who else did I use? Good gravy. Next, uh, well, you, you guys can see my my, my, my my video right here. I'm kicking his butt. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm paying attention. Yeah. I've used quite a few uh, different Pokemon on that, but that's just because, you know, Generation 8. And, uh, well, I'm hoping that in, uh, right here in Pokemon Heart Gold, we'll, we'll probably see a little bit more Pokemon than just the regular team, including Hercules. Uh, Hercules and Fluff Vault are the two differences in this team because, well, in Pokemon Crystal, we can't get, uh, Marie early on and all that stuff. So here we go, Psybeam again. Let's go, Relic. Some of you guys were probably saying, hey, if you had Relic as an Espeon, why not get Relic as an Umbreon? Eh, well, you know, that kind of, uh, it sounds fine, but, uh, Umbreon, not my favorite Pokemon, especially since, uh... Let's see, in Generation 4, it really doesn't do much, right? Or, well, yeah, they probably added just a little bit more moves, but my history with Ombreon was not that good. Didn't necessarily think that it was beneficial for the team right here. There could be more Dark-type Pokemon right here. And look at that, Hercules getting more points. Relic kicking butt. Taking on all these compings. Yeah, buddy. You have no chance. So here we go, Psybeam Attack for the win. Oh, yes. And Comping has been defeated. I'm feeling good about myself, guys. I am feeling good. And he's got one more Pokemon, of course. It's another Comping because, well, Team Rocket members can't pick a team. Good gravy. Alrighty. 
And, well, let's see. We're going to be going with another Asabium attack because, yes, yes, we can. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. And uh, say goodbye to Cuffing. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I am the king of the world right here. What now? So after defeating Petrel, he's gonna let listen to you, and he's gonna tell, or you, you're gonna have to listen. I'm telling him he's gonna tell you that he that the real director is in the underground path. So we get a basement key. So that pretty much uh, does it right here for this episode, guys. In the next episode, we're gonna be going into the underground path. There is a puzzle right there. There are quite a few battles. And we're going to go and retrieve the director for the radio tower. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Actually, we, we were just trying to leave right here. Look at that. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Look at that. <laughs> just a few more seconds. There we go. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time.